So we are in Irvishire, and we are trying to choose between siding with Hafton, now King Hafton, or Faravid. What is this metal? We can't talk Soft. about choices that we make and the consequences without having some spoilers, but still I wanted to get that out of the way. I'll give you the short answer right up front. I think the option is to side with Faravid. And what may be most important to you is what consequences are there for you and the Raven clan? And I really didn't see a big difference in consequence. King Hafton gives me the circlet bracelet of friendship if if I fight Faravid for him and then he executes him. He very glumly gives me the circlet of friendship. However, when I go back to Raventhorpe, our settlement with the Raven clan, we find that both choices end with us at least on the map and at least in Eivor's mind, both end with an alliance with Irvishire and King Hafton. So therefore, this decision to me really seems to come down to your honor, what you think is right, the type of person you want to be as Eivor leading the Raven clan, because it seems like you get your alliance either way. And then also, King Hafton is very upset either way, but arguably more upset if he kills Faravid rather than exiles him. If we, if we choose to support Faravid and he is exiled, then there's always a chance. At least he lives and we can see what the future might bring. If he dies, obviously, that's the end of his story. Now, who's actually responsible for the poisoning? I can't really say, but to me, it certainly does not seem to be Farav. So I feel like this is the good choice. I realize you have to look out for your own best interests and the best interests of Raven Clan, but to me, it seems like you get the alliance with either path you take. So why not take the more honorable path of letting Faravid live for now, and then you get the same post-mission side quest where you go and help the King Hafton find his hammer, and at the end of both, whichever path you've taken, he says, you have a friend in Irvishire. And you go back to your own settlement, and you get, and you tell Ranvi that you have the alliance. So that's it. Happy to have any discussions regarding but there is no honor, Soon I courage, shall be long gone. the right thing Far to do, expediency, the the fates whatever you me. think is important. But the quick answer, which I gave you up front, I think Faravid is the better choice for you here. End of the road. Goodbye, Eivor. Did you know about the goblets, the lead? Now is the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. We hope for many things in this life, yet we earn so few of them. Good day, Eivor. I entered Jovikshire to meet Hafton Jarl, and I left a friend of Hafton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. I wonder how Hafton fares. 
now that he sits on the throne. <clears throat> Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Beonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moria. Pitteringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. But snow, silent as a corpse. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go sit. My brother, Eva. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me. It was no secret. Up anew. Did he not... Leave me. I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Ava. I'll find your hammer. And then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. Drunk needs his hammer. <laughs> the lighthouse. Hafton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time. My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are. Still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Beonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do 
do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. Thank you, friend. You are always welcome at my home. <laughs> 